sure if that's that. Any other activities? So we've got Noah, Brandon. I don't know our field judge's name. What's his name? Uh, Noah's the Aria. Why am I drawing a blank on the field judge's name? Ooh. And then reset back, Judge. Any of those ringing the bell? No. Uh -uh. Oh, no, no, no. Is that, is that Ryan? Or is that. Yeah, that's got to be Ryan then. Okay. It looked good though, did you get that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Two four passes. <laughs> we got it. He knew it as soon as he threw it. Go open. I would cover you can hear me pick up there. Ryan, you're a field judge. We've got a three, two, three yard gain. No need for you to come up and get that with the whistle. Let Brandon take it. It should be him all the way.
good, good, good pick up on, good pick up on that, Brandon. Uh, Noah, let's make sure that when we're uh, approaching this penalty enforcement, we are preliming nonverbal first, without the pucks in our hand, Mark, getting our options from the captain, marking it off, then announcing it. Again, Noah, let's make sure we're doing our penalty enforcement procedures correctly. Let's make sure we're squaring up to the line judge, not just facing the line of scrimmage or wandering around when we're given our nonverbal prelim. Let's make sure we're given the correct signal. Let's make sure we mark it off properly. Let's make sure we put our flag back in our pants and are ready to blow the ready for play prior to letting the offense snap the ball. Okay. If we're not ready, then we shouldn't let the offense be ready. So let's get a little more hustle, make sure we're tucked, we're back, we're ready, and we're good. Reese, let's make sure we're already deeper and beyond that play. Uh, we were still behind the receivers, but we want to make sure we have put ourselves in a position to see between any potential matchup there. Uh, we weren't really back far enough to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep our back pedal longer, get there. And then honestly, as close as we were to the goal line, just go ahead and set up there.
So, Ryan, when we're at field judge, we want to keep our 45 degree angle throughout the play. We want to stay beyond the play. If it's getting to us, we want to keep getting back and in front of it. Reese, you attempted to be preventative there, and that's good. But if that's not going to register, then you have got to throw the flag. You can't not throw the flag when you recognize it and attempt to address it pre-snap. It's got to be thrown. Brandon, third down. You know, Ryan's there. He's on top of it. Let him take the primary. You don't need to come in selling short, too. We've got four officials. You know, switch to four-man mentality. Trust your partner across the field. So, Brandon, good job being patient with that play there coming up. But as it goes past you, you can spot it and turn that play. You don't need to stay square to the field. Get the spot and turn with it. And then as the players come back across you, you're still at the spot. Just spin back around on that foot. Chop no in.
Noah, when we're at R, we need to make sure we have that inside out look at all times. Um, don't let the quarterback's mobility push you to the sideline. Let him cross you, turn, open up, turn back inside. So you keep your seven and seven from the inside instead of sideline out. Sideline in correction. Brandon, remember, that's not your call. Good job at least recognizing it, but be a little more patient on that. And then if your referee just completely botches it, then come in and get it. But the referee was completely on top of that one. Be patient, trust your partner. Guys, we are inside the 20 yard line. We have to go half the distance to the goal on any penalty of 10 yards.
there's lots of energy. Dead, dead, dead. So, Brandon and Reese, let's make sure as the play is developing, we're watching our zones. Uh, not saying we had a flag necessarily, but we definitely had a collision in the middle of the field that probably could be addressed. Uh, the point is that we need to make sure we're, we're looking and seeing, not just following on ball, but off ball as well. Brandon, thank you for realizing he didn't have a flag belt on and having the gumption to throw the flag after the fact. But that's really something we need to catch pre-snap because it means we're not counting our players in our flag belts. Oh. Did we have a catch? What was the process that caused the flag to become, uh, come off? <laughs> Completely lost my train of thought there, sorry. Flag <laughs> what caused the flag to come off? Okay.
Good call on that, Brandon, coming up, delaying, deferring, and then making the primary call. So let's take a look at this one. Did he, the runner make contact with his arm coming through his hips? Uh, they've been doing it a lot. Let's try to step up and be preventative. Warn them about that, but on that, if we have contact, we definitely need to have the flag on it because he scored off of it.
Take a look at this play here, guys, uh, especially wing officials. What what was the action here? What did we do? Not sure if you're gonna be able to see this on the video, no. But let's make sure we keep a wide look. Uh, we just had a push off here on the defense, uh, two two forearms basically right in the guy's hips. Uh, let's just make sure we are at an angle where we can see between that blocker and rusher.
And on the previous interception there, uh, good job being patient with your whistle and spotting the ball, but you can still turn, clean up that play at that spot, and then as the players come back across your face, then you can turn back around and square back up with the field. Ryan and coming up and being observant, especially based on halftime feedback. from the line of scrimmage. <laughs> did they stop themselves or did you stop them with your flag? Can we be preventative? Is that an advantage that's actually been gained? Uh, purpose of that rule is more for gunners running downfield prior to the kick and getting downfield in coverage prior to the kick being made. catch signal uh, we can't have that happen it's not it's an unfair act in our book yes we should, no we should have just what we should have done is just, there's no fair catches in flight football right we should have we should have indicated that there's no fair catches there's no fair catches 
Um, and we we had what we also did is we also we had a bing bag down for from the back judge uh, to signal the end of the kick, but that wasn't communicated uh, to the referee. Then the, the back judge uh, picked up the bean bag. We should have, because that was should have been a point of, uh, could have been a point of in, enforcement um, for something. Um, but we also had the invalid fair catch signal, which was properly ignored. We did, shouldn't have shut it down. Um, and then we had we had uh, the flag. Looks like we got uh, that plague uh, taken care of pretty well, but just a little bit on the the procedural side. Did you hear everything Justin was saying? Did we have contact on this on an attempted flag pull? Runner was holding himself up. Did he make contact in an attempt to prevent a defender from pulling his flag?
Test, test, test. Yeah. Reese, good save on the zone line of the game there. The previous play at this point. It's not picking up. Did you hear anything about the play then? On. Now you are. Reese, good job looking towards your line judge for confirmation. That catch was very close to the sideline. There was a bobble. We definitely needed the communication there. Brandon, let's try to make sure we get downfield a little more quickly on the release of the pass because uh, that went right to the corner. We had a lot of uncertainty whether or not he was in balance with possession. So make sure you let your partner know, be in position so you can let Reese know more definitively whether or not he was in bounds, had possession on the sideline.
Test, test, test. Okay. Reese, get back. Make sure you're keeping players in front of you at all times. You should be deeper than the play at all times. Noah, on your ready for play whistle, especially coming out of a timeout, something of that nature where we all come together, make sure everybody's back and ready. We don't need to blow that ready for play until we are set as a crew. I know we're under two and we're rolling, but we gotta make sure we're moving to the right hash, okay? I know the clock will stop there, but let's make sure we are still giving our proper signals, using our proper mechanics. Noah, we're not preliming your dead ball fouls at the line of scrimmage. Just walk it off and then announce it. Noah, let's, let's make sure we put ourselves in the right position uh, to see the direction of the pass. Get a little wider, get a little deeper. Uh, we just call it a forward pass backwards there. Uh, and if that hits the ground and you deem that as back, that makes a huge difference in, in the uh, context of what's going on.